So this is a question taken from the OCR June 2012 F324 Rings Polymers and Analysis paper. And this is a typical question will ask you to compare the bonding in benzene to an alkene and then to talk about the difference in their reactivities. The question starts by saying alkenes and benzene both react with bromine but alkenes are more reactive. So that's an important point. Explain the relative resistance to bromination of benzene compared with alkenes in your answer you should use appropriate technical terms spelled correctly. So when we talk about benzene the first thing we need to talk about is the delocalized pi cloud, the delocalized electrons above and beyond the ring. So I'm going to draw up the diagram. So the six carbon atoms form a hexagonal ring and above and below are the delocalized pi electrons. Now, the difference between that and an alkene, in, in an alkene, what can we say about the electrons? We can say the electrons are localised between two carbons. They are less spread out. So the electrons in an alkene are localised between two carbon atoms. But the question is asking, explain the relative resistance to bromination of benzene compared with alkenes. Relative resistance means that benzene is less easily bromate than alkene. So the reason for this relies on the difference in the way the electrons are. So in benzene, there are delocalized pi electrons. And in alkene, the electrons are localized between two carbons. So it means that benzene has a lower electron density. E minus for electron. So what does that mean? It means that the electrophile of Br2 is polarised less in benzene when it attacks benzene. So the Br2 is polarised less with benzene. So because it's polarised less, the Br2, it means the benzene reacts slower than with an alkene. The question goes on to say, a student investigates two reactions of bromine with phenylethene, C6H5CH double bond CH2. The student mixes phenylethene with excess bromine, that's important, at room temperature, and an organic compound forms the molecular formula C8H8Br2. Draw the structure of the organic product formed in reaction one. So, first things first is the benzene ring is going to be intact. That doesn't change. And what I often find it helps is if you draw out your starting material, you can see what's going to happen. You can see what elements are added. So phenylethane is C6H5. That's the benzene ring. It has that carbon there bonded to a hydrogen. Double bond to that carbon. Double bond to hydrogen. Double bond to hydrogen. And if you look at it as every other alkene does, it, it adds Br2 across the double bond, across that alkene double bond, to give us the di-bromo compound. Now the question you might wonder is, how do you know that the Br2 doesn't add on to the benzene ring? Well, the start of the question talks about the resistance of benzene to bromination. So we know that the Br2 is going to add across the alkene, not to the benzene, because the beginning of the question tells you that it's the alkene that reacts. Let's count up the atoms, so that's C678, H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Br2. So that also agrees with the molecular formula. The question then goes on to say, predict the number of peaks in the carbon-13 NMR of the organic compound formed in reaction one. So let's number these. So that's going to be one carbon, two, three, four, five, six, six. Question you may ask is why isn't that carbon seen in the NMR? Well it is, but that carbon there at the top of the benzene ring is exactly the same by symmetry as that carbon there. It's the same as carbon three. So you don't get a different peak, so you only get six peaks. The question then goes on to say, 
Draw the structure structures of the two isomers of C8H7Br3 formed in reaction 2. So reaction 2 says the student adds a halogen carrier to the mixture obtained from reaction 1. A mixture of isomers forms. Each isomer has the molecular formula C8H7Br3. So if I copy this down, copy this structure down to here to make it easy to see. This is the product from reaction 1 that we've got. So it's C H B R C H H B R. So if we add that with a halogen carrier and Br2, what do we get? Well, you can have bromination of the benzene ring. We know it's bromination of the benzene ring because the question says a halogen carrier, and a halogen carrier is when you brominate an aromatic ring. So we could brominate there, there, or there. And we only get one bromination per isomer because the formula is C8H7Br3, and we know there's two bromines already in, in the starting material. So when you brominate that, we're only going to get one bromine extra in the product. So we could have, for example, this stuff. CHBR, CH, H, BR benzene ring. We could have this as an isomer with the bromine in the two position, or we could have it in the three position or the four position. And these are all equally valid answers, so we could have bromination there or there, they're both fine. The question concludes by saying state the type of mechanism that takes place in reaction one. And reaction two. So reaction one is when you're adding bromine to an alkene double bond, that is electrophilic addition. One L in electrophilic at the end, one at the start. And reaction two is when you're brominating onto an aromatic ring, and that's electrophilic substitution.